Yeah, good afternoon, guys. Nicholson Family Acres here. Just uh, built a little, oh, it's not really a chicken trailer. Put our four chicks in that uh, my wife had incubated, and they're getting kind of big. I don't know if you can see them very good or not, but uh, they're getting much bigger. Got a little heat lamp in there. And uh, this was her little house before, after the incubator. Uh, we kept them in another tub before this, and then now they moved up to that little house. And now they've moved up to this little area here that we've got in the barn. Uh, completely covered and sealed up from any predators. So they're doing pretty good. Got a heat lamp in here for them and got their water and everything. So it's going pretty good. And then uh, got the goats next door. Uh, got them in the barn as well. So they can, uh, I don't know where they're at. There they are right there. There's, they're trying to stand up, looking around. Got them set up, got plenty of hay in here for them to stay warm in. Of course, I close that door up at night, keep it closed up. And, uh, because they love to be petted. Got them some uh, baking soda there for extra ingredients. Plus, as you can see, got a little salt block there set up on the wall so they can stand up and get it. I think they're going to like that. And then, uh, of course, they can come and go out the door if they want to. So we're going to do this for right now. And uh, we'll pick up this some more here in just a little bit. Thanks for watching Nicholson Family Acres. And we will continue with just a little bit more video further down the road. Thank you, guys. Can you hear me? You can hear me, but you don't get to see my pretty face. We're going to go over here and check our little kittens uh, stuff, first of all, and see how see how it's going as far as uh, make sure they got food. We got two barn cats. You guys have seen those in, in the past. One's BH. He's the big gray and white one. And there is Chauncey, and there's our dog, uh, Marley. They get along pretty good. Marley's done really well. Uh, of course, we come up here and make sure they, even though they're barn cats, we make sure that they still got food and water and everything. Now we're going to go over here and check our two goats. That's Pebbles and Bam Bam. They are characters. I guess we should check on the... New little chicks and see how they're doing. I hope you guys can see them. I don't have a light in here. Uh, they pretty much got their regular feathers on now. And uh, they're still a little skittish. I got to throw them a little feed in there, so I'm going to walk back and get some feed. And uh, take a Take a look at their water and their feed, and I'm pretty sure they got water and everything. But we're gonna, we're gonna take a walk back over here, and I'm gonna get them some feed. And uh, that's if I can keep from walking on my dog, because he wants to get right in my face and uh, right in my footsteps. So let's see what we can do with the feed. Here's what we're gonna give them. We'll give them. Uh, they seem to like this. It's still baby chick food. We're pretty close thinking that we're going to wean them off this. Uh, we hope we do. I don't know if we will or not, but we're going to try. Uh, they're getting about big enough to we well, don't have to do that. And uh, hopefully that'll help them. So I'm going to... Uh, Put this camera right here. You kind of see a little bit what's going on. As long as I learn how to operate this camera, I'm still I'm still learning a lot about it. So and this is my camera. This is my regular phone camera. 
And it's blinking right now, which is telling me that maybe it's fixing to go off or something. I can't seem to get the timer set on it right. And, uh, but we're going to give them some food. Hopefully this will keep going. If not, then I'll, I guess I'll have to deal with that when that time comes. So we'll give them a little food and check the water. pretty good huh? so it it's still going yeah, it kind of surprised me so Marley had to go over there and check them out so we're gonna take this uh, feed back over here where I had it on my shelf at and uh, then we'll go go to the goats and check on the goats give them some some feed and everything and then uh, we're gonna check on other chickens Got two hen houses, and uh, I'm hoping my video will continue to go on here. My son-in-law was down a couple weeks ago, and he kind of helped me with it. I think I had it set on 4K or something, but uh, now it's not, so it uh, might be a little bit better that way. Okay, so now we're going to go in here where the goats are at, and... Uh, See how that goes. I don't know what I'm doing here. There you go. They'll probably go crazy, crazy. Because they like their food. Hey, say, so come along. Give me some food. So we're going to scoop them up a cup full here. Come on, let's go, guys. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Come here. There you go. And then I'm going to try to let them out here, if possible. See if they don't tear. Okay, I guess my video cut off, so. Anyway, sorry guys. I'm going to learn how to do this one day. I don't know. We did 10 videos now. And uh, I don't know if it's getting worse or better. Seems like worse. But, uh. I wish I could be as good as some of these other guys. Uh, walkers. Walk the moor, the walkers, the people uh, the farmers, all those guys, they are, they do a great job doing what they do. Um, Adlers, Hidden Heights. There's a bunch of them that uh, right here in Oklahoma and uh, out east. Um, a lot of good good people out there doing the homesteading stuff, and uh, so it's pretty good. So we've got those guys taken care of right there. Now we're going to go down here and check on the I call them the West chickens. Now the I'm, I'm sorry, the East chickens. These are the East chickens. They're on the east side of the property. Then the other chickens are the west chickens. They're on the west side of the property. So I'm going to turn the camera back around and try to get some video of these guys. See what they're doing. See if they're uh, acting crazy or anything today. Don't look like they are. I'm just going to check their water and check their feed. And I'm pretty sure they got it. But go check it anyway. See how much they're out. And uh, uh, oh, come here now. What's 
stop and get your book. Oh. from something there. Hang on, guys. I'm going to let you out here. Come on. Y'all want out? Come on. Come on out. You guys are good. You got plenty of food in there. Water's good. Let you guys out. You guys are doing good. Okay. So we got that done today. If all their feed's good and everything, so we're going to go in here and uh, see what we got inside the chicken house. Don't know if we got anything. Oh, up, 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 up! Look here. I won't bother them right now, so I just leave them, leave them to be, and. Uh, Everything is good with the guys there. Oh, I don't want to do that. I want to be able to let them out. So I got to open this back up here for them. And uh, so they can kind of check out the snow out there. There's a couple of them out there. Make sure that they uh, in got three in here and there's one on the nest right now we're gonna go over to the west chickens and uh, see how they're doing over there and uh, go from there I'm gonna get better at this one day guys hope you uh, hope you forgive me I uh, need lots of practice. You have to remember I'm old. And, uh, but it's fun. It's fun doing this. It's uh, time consuming, but it's good, man. You know, I grew up on a farm in Missouri, about 85 miles out of St. Louis. Uh, my dad had a 200 acre area there. And uh, ended up moving to her, my grandfather's homestead in uh, a little piece of metal in here to help keep them keep the chickens warm. Of course, chickens are out already. Got uh, five hens and one rooster in here as well. And I'm gonna just go in here and open up this door and uh, yeah they're all doing good look at them mm -hmm. collect the egg or two we usually out of, out of the ten hens we usually get about uh, six eggs a day roughly make sure they got water they got feed because I fed them yesterday use one of these little tractor supply feeds uh, I think uh, Teresa the people Teresa and Billy that owned the place before uh, made those up and they done a good job at them the good people um, so this this is what I call the the West chickens and then the uh, other ones are the East chickens just because one's on the east and one's on the west so they all seem to be doing pretty good. Um, kind of put in a little log in here the other day. So they can get up here, the rooster can get up here and, and do his growing business. Put another gate in there too. We was gonna try to put the little, the little chickens of four new ones that just been hat not long ago. I was gonna try to put them in here. Uh, but they was too small. They still wanted to try to get out. So we're going to have to wait a little bit longer and we'll move them there, put them out here, build a little container for them. 
so I have something to stay nice and warm. Right now they're going to be in the in the barn in the horse corral for now. So that is what we do on Nicholson Family Acres. Uh, we love it here. Me and my wife love it here. It's uh, it's a neat neat place. Uh, like I always tell people, don't wait till you're almost 70 years old to get out here and decide to do things, you know? Get out here when you're younger. And a lot of the people that's on the YouTube channels, you know, the uh, all the YouTubers out here that's got the YouTube uh, homesteads, they're pretty much all young. And I, I give them lots of respect for that. You know, these young people out here are doing something that uh, that they enjoy to do, you know. It's a pretty neat thing. You know, I've always wanted to go back to my roots, living on in the country and getting back here. And, and honestly, made me do it was just COVID and all the craziness in the world with people fighting and hurting each other because political views or whatever. I, I have no clue, but. It's, it's just not right, you know. People just need to love one another. Oh, good. No mail. That is good. There's a mailbox. Nobody's ever seen a mailbox before. That's it. Here's a little banister we got made up. Which here, we have such good wind. Never stays in one spot. Let me see if I can get a decent picture of it. I don't know if I'll be able to. I have, might have to hold it here. It's called, let's see if I can get it out here. That's a new emblem, Nicholson Family Acres. Um, little flag, pretty cool. So, but anyway guys, this has uh, been fun doing this one. It's been a while since I did one, and I apologize for that. I'm trying to get better with it. Uh, I hope to. I'm using still my cell phone. I have two cameras. I have a a GoPro 5. I just can't seem to operate it very well. And then my wife bought me another camera. And I haven't done very good with it either. So the best thing that I've done is with my Samsung 10. Note, it's it's been the best. So, uh... I don't know. I'm going to keep working at it. We'll walk over here and we're going to look at some tree limbs. Because I know I probably won't do it today. But uh, we're going to do it soon. Do some cutting. Uh, during that ice storm, we had some fall down. In, uh, in a little wooded area. I call it my Sasquatch area. Uh, we still got a lot of trees down tree limbs down as weather permits i'm gonna get up in there and try to do some i've stacked some there already and uh of course here we got one hanging in the tree up there and then we got this big one this one fell down just a couple days ago i'll cut, have to cut it up and get it out of here and uh Hopefully, I don't know if I'll use any of it or not, but this big limb here needs to be cut down for sure. I've got one up in there too, as you guys can see. So, all right, guys, I'm going to end this video with looking at the log. And uh, remember to like and subscribe to our channel. This is Nicholson Family Acres. And uh, we uh, appreciate you watching our channel. And uh, thank you guys very much.